It's the Bergs coming back at you live. Saturday morning at 12.26 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. From the greater Seattle, Washington area where the Y5 is fiving. From Mr. 55, Mr. Double Nichols, the Emperor of Boyd, the greatest man in the history of the world, and the interstellar galactic pimp from the planet Burgatron. So the bottom line is this. What are we going to do here, folks? We're, we're going to 55 it. We're going to bottom line it. We're going to 55 it, folks. Let's just take elbow, folks. Mr. Big Wheels, huh? Mr. Dumbo. The fallen king, the king who was dethroned, the king who was not suspended, but was terminated two times by Herman O'Munster. Let's take his life right now on October 17, 2020, and let's juxtapose it from one year earlier. Let's compare it to one year earlier on October 17, 2019. Where was he just one year ago? You know where he was? They were at the Rancho. For the never-ending van build, he was monetized one year ago. He didn't have the chipped front tooth, okay? He was monetized. He was living in the shine shack, okay? He didn't have a care in the world, living in a nice little studio apartment there, right? They were bringing in the money. They were bringing in the views with the never-ending van build, never-ending... Chuchin equals moochin, never ending everything. Right? Getting paid. I gots to get paid. Now, where is he today? One year later, folks. Oh, my. How the king has fallen. Where is he today? October 17th, 2020. Only one year later. He's 37 years old then. He's 38 now. He's been terminated two times. He's not monetized. The money is not rolling in. I guess he's just living off his savings. Or maybe someone's sending him some money. A PayPal. I don't know. Norm F. Who knows? He's up there in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. He might be getting a job. Might not. I don't know. As a rent -a cop I don't know. Security guard. We, we don't know what's going on with him. But then what's he going to do? You can't have a rig up there in Wisconsin in the wintertime. You know how cold it gets? Negative 20? You got to keep that thing running all night. Everything's going to freeze up. You can't keep that out in a Walmart parking lot. That needs to be in a, that needs to be in a uh, garage enclosed. It's not going to happen, folks. So even if he gets a job, what? He's going to work for, what, a month? It's October 17th. It's going to snow. And I see him up on Street Life's panel tonight. And he gets, he got so triggered. I thought that this, the Godfather would always say, oh, he's, he's, he's very calm under pressure. He has a calm uh, demeanor. He was chimping so hard, folks. He, he blew up my ears. He blew up my cell phone. He, he blew up his own cell phone speakers. This guy got so triggered by this guy who it sounded like he was threatening to kill him. And, and I, I did go on Street Life's panel for about 10 minutes, terminated everybody like I do. I just went in there for a little hit and run. You know, sometimes birds might go on a panel for five minutes. Sometimes I'll go in there for five hours. Bottom line is this. I am... Machine Gun Kelly. I just go in there and, and just decimate. That's just what I do. Because I have a gift, folks. I have a gift of, of gab. I come up, come up with everything off the top of my head. The bottom line is this. Because I don't top line anything, folks. Everything's bottom line. So the bottom line is this. One year ago, you were living high in the hog, elbow. You were living at the shine shack. The donations were rolling in. You were getting your rig fixed up by Herman O. Monster. And oh my, how the king has fallen. Now one year later, you're terminated. You don't know what to do. You're like a, a deer in headlights. You're like a little boy who's lost. Remember that? When you're a little kid, folks, and you go to the mall or you go somewhere 
and then maybe your mom pops into a store and, and, and all of a sudden you're lost and you're, and you're saying, Mommy, Mommy, Mama, Mommy. Right? And you get lost. Right? That's where you are right now. I've never seen you that uh, triggered. And I thought you said you were going to stay off YouTube. You're not staying off YouTube. You're addicted. Just like, <clears throat> just like a moth to a flame, a mosquito to a bug zapper. You cannot stand that you've been terminated. Okay, you might say, oh, and you said you would never come back. I knew you'd come back, and, and this guy will be showing up again with a uh, channel. I, I, I guarantee it, because he wants to get those taxes, especially with his birthday coming up on uh, his 39th birthday on uh, December 10th, because we all know he's going to want to do that big birthday bash and have the taxes rolling in, even if, even if it's just you know PayPal, because he will never be monetized again. But oh my, how the king has fallen, folks! You one year ago, you were you were living high in the high in the hog. Everything was going great, running a smooth channel, militarized. I mean, you were you had it you had it going. You don't know how good you have it. Just like that song by Cinderella, you know you don't know what you got till it's gone. And now one year later, now 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 look at you. You don't know. You're like the you're like that uh, Clash song, Should I Stay or Should I Go? Well, we know you're not going to stay in Wisconsin and get a job. Okay, Even if you got a job as, as a security guard, what, you're going to last for a month? You're not going to sleep in a homeless shelter. You're not going to sleep in your rig. You know how cold Wisconsin gets? Negative 20. You're talking about snow 10 feet high. There's no way. Blizzards. Forget about it. You, you are going to put it in gear, and you're going to get money from who, whomever you can get it from. Mr. X, uh, Godfather, your sisters, uh, Norm F, jo Joni, anybody you can just to get gas, Narsa, to go down to Florida. You are going to put it in gear, and you're just going to hang out in Florida for the whole winter, which I guess I would too, because you're not going to sleep in a homeless shelter. They have rules in a homeless shelter. You don't, you don't, you don't take orders. You don't do rules. The king does not do rules, right? You would get kicked out of a homeless shelter. I've had friends out here in the Seattle area, uh, musician people who are homeless for for a time being, and they and they run these homeless shelters like like a tight ship, like like uh, the military almost. You cannot, if you get in a fight or something or an argument, you're like kicked out for like a month, okay? Because a lot of times these places have, you know, waiting lists. And uh, you would not do well in a shelter. No way. You are a loner. And uh, if you are going to get triggered by a, a guy who's threatening, sound like he was uh, cocking a gun, you should have had a firearm years ago. If you have, if you're living alone in a van, if I was living alone in a van, I would have been packing heat. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you know what? It's just, it just came to my mind. My, 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 how the king has fallen. It's been only one year. One year ago today, right now, you would have been on, sitting in Rosie's living room, drinking, drinking a uh, Dos Equis beer, milking it while Rosie's live. Because Rosie would still be live here on a Friday night. Then you would have gone back to the Shine Shack and slept. And worked on the van or done whatever you guys do the next day. And now you don't know what's I don't you don't know what you're doing. Your hair's all over the place, you got a chipped tooth, you're you're heavier than you're the heaviest you've ever been. You don't know if you want to stay in Wisconsin, you don't know what's going on, you don't have any money rolling in. You are at the lowest point you've ever been at. You realize that. And we know you're not going to stay there. We know you're not going to get a job. You're going to put it in gear. You're going to go down, go down to uh, Florida. You got your, you got your uh, godfather there. You got your nephew, Narsa. You got uh, Bina. You got a, a bunch of people you know down there. And that's it. You got the food scene down there. And who knows? Maybe you, maybe you can get a job down there. Who knows? You should talk to that guy, Donnie.com. 
who does the whole Uber thing. Because they will rent you a car. Okay? Once you get that two, two, $250 a week paid off, everything above that is all profit minus what you have to pay Uber. Uber, 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 Goobu. The bottom line is this. Koopa, Koopa, super duper, help me out with my computer. Oh, yeah, you got um, Franny. You, you got Francis Mangina down there also. You got a bunch of people you know down there, a lot of YouTubers. So the bottom line is this. We all know you're putting it in, in gear. You're not going to stay there. Don't, don't gaslight us saying you're getting a job. It's not going to happen. But you know what? Oh, my, oh, my. How the king has fallen in just one year. With that being said, Berg's out, signed, sealed, and delivered.